order and ask everyone to join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The roll, please. Uh, Belzac. Here. Klistic. Kenny. Here. Marquez. Here. McIver. Shower. Here. Vaughn. Here. Five present and two absent. We have a quorum. The next item is questions, comments, and announcements of a general nature. Uh, we have an individual in the in the audience. Did you want to address the council this evening at all? Yeah. On on any on any issue. It could be an issue that's on the agenda or just an issue you want to you want to speak to us about. I might have one later. Later, okay. Okay, uh, that's fine. Thank you. All right, uh, let's move on to the approval of minutes of May 21st, 2018. Uh, Alderman Marquez, seconded by Alderman Kenny. Any additions or deletions in the minutes? Then the roll, please. Marquez. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Belzac. Abstain. Shower. Aye. Vaughn. Aye. Four ayes, two absent, and one abstention. The minutes have been approved. The next item is receiving of communications. Do any have anyone have communications to share? Alderman Kenny. Uh, good evening, Madam Mayor. I have a, a communication from uh, Jeff Prince, 1400 block of 77th Street. He is very, very um, happy with the, the light shade shields that they were able to put in the parking lot in the Bailey Park office complex. Um, it's nice when a resident has an issue and they'll always call the city but it's it's great to, when they follow back up and you know thank them for everything that they're doing it's it doesn't it doesn't happen every day uh any other communications to share dan did we didn't we get some uh and i failed to bring him with me uh, some some kudos for the uh public works department this uh since the last council meeting I don't recall seeing anything I, specific, Mayor. Yeah, I've got to make copies of them when I get them. Okay. Uh, Alderman Vaughn? Uh, thank you, Ma Madam Mayor. Um, we do have one kudo uh, for the Municipal Services Department, the Middle Road House on High Road uh, that's now being re uh, oh, renovated. Yes. It looks amazing. Yes. Uh, the neighbors are very happy uh, with that, so they sent a nice email saying that thanks, thanks for the great job that all of you guys are doing. So I am sure they're pleased. I think that's going to uh, really improve that uh, that corner for sure. Two stories. Yes. <laughs> uh, if there's no other communications, let's move to the mayor's report. And I have no report this evening. Let's move to the city clerk's report. Just one item, Madam Mayor. Uh, meet and greet will take place with Mayor Weaver on Monday, June 18th at 6 p.m. here at City Hall in the upstairs conference room. Uh, next item is city administrator's report. Uh, no report tonight, Mayor. Okay, Thank let's you. move to department head reports. Uh, the police department, Chief Thomas, do you have a report this evening? I do not okay. answer any questions. Though. Any questions for the chief? You were talking, uh, uh, you, you copied me on uh, a meeting that you had with some journalism students. Uh, were they going to, uh, what, were they going to listen in or sit in on meetings or do anything? Were you just shedding your, your knowledge with them? Is it was just an interview on uh, knowledge about uh, active assailants in, um, in schools in preparation for uh, those attacks. Okay. So they were doing some reports for, for, <coughs> for schooling? Correct. Okay. DePaul University. I'm sure that's, that's uh, fun for you to <laughs> be able to share with, uh, with the students. It's just an unfortunate situation to have to... Be an well, expert that, on. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I was thinking more broadly of yes. any opportunity you have to share with students. Uh, let's move on to, uh, oh, excuse me, municipal services. Uh, do we have a report, uh, Mr. No Governor? report, Madam Mayor. be more than happy to answer any questions. Any for questions for Dan? Yeah, Dan, how are we doing on uh, Plainfield Road? It's moving along. Um, the pace could be a little faster. Unfortunately, due to utility conflicts, it seems like every time we've been boring the laterals, meaning from the north to the south side of the roadways we seem to be encountering uh, conflicts with utilities either they're abandoned uh, re most recently we had a storm sewer that's supposed to be abandoned so again we're still waiting to get permission on that portion of it that's going to mean a double left lane closure for westbound uh, 75th street but rather that'll be a midnight operation so again that's one uh, issue two days ago we had another one where an old 
gas main was hit and obviously the contractor did smell gas so they stopped because there's still gas that probably wasn't vacated from the lines or purged from the lines years ago um you know comed was hit the other day as well um so again just conflicts with utilities and um it's a lot of them are not the kind of the vendor's fault majority of them aren't the vendors well, fault. with those abandoned uh utilities uh, the storm stores those those are they being removed or the the, the vendor just has to go around them the is vendor basically has to go around them. Unfortunately, the records, uh, some of the record keeping from years ago was not very accurate. And again, during the design stages of the whole water main project, if we don't have information of an abandoned line, obviously you can't put it on the plans and say the potential. Um, so those were, that's some of the conflicts that we've uh, come across recently. Well, what's interesting is the, the lines that you have to you have to go either under or over these abandoned. So are you going too deep for some of the lines you're putting in? Is, no. I mean, no. I mean, it's, it's calls out the contract calls out for a four to four to six foot range, which is perfectly acceptable. And prior to that, all utilities that are located, the contractor is obligated to go out there and core and basically va they vacuum the ground out to find these utilities to make sure the depth that they're at. So, but obviously when you don't know- They're there. They're there. Sure enough, Murphy's Law is you're gonna hit it. Yeah. How does Julie, how does Julie play into all that? Because uh, like when a private residence kind of gets work done, they do to Julie. How does, how does something like that, what, when a project same, is big? The same way, and, and Julie's been wrong um, on that job site. You know, there's two different issues. One is abandoned lines. So we don't expect Julie to find abandoned lines. Um, at the same time, Julie does not do 100% of their, what they're supposed to do. There are some mislocates by Julie. Years ago, if you recall, ComEd used to have their own locators. NICOR used to have their lo own locators, uh, as well as AT&T or whoever they are, Comcast. Um, now they're all merged uh, with NICOR, ComEd. So you have one, Utilex, I believe it's called, that's basically locating all these uh, lines and in our opinion you can't be an expert at locating all these lines yeah yeah thank you doesn't make sense but, but that was a uh was that a state law julie was a state law or federal law state um i believe it's federal i i, yeah. I know it's state it was state originally so it may have become federal to where now it's i think it's a what they call a 311 call uh chicago's a little bit different but okay Thank you. Thank you for the information. Anything else for uh, Dan? Then let's move on to the treasurer's report. Thank you, Madam Mayor. This evening I'm requesting council's approval of warrant number 171827, the amount of $7,089.91, carry over from last year from the indicated funds. Any, uh, do I have a motion to approve warrant 171827? Alderman Belzec, seconded by Alderman Shower. Any questions for the treasurer on that warrant? In the roll, please. Belzac. Aye. Shower. Aye. Vaughn. Aye. Marquez. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Five ayes and two absent. Uh, the warrant has been approved. The next warrant, please. Uh, requesting council's approval of warrant number 181903 in the amount of $528,077.51 from the listed funds and payroll for the period ended May 24th in the amount of $244,840.71 for a total to be approved of $772,898.22. Do I have a motion to approve? Alderman Belzic, seconded by Alderman Kenny. Any questions for the treasurer? In the roll, please. Belzac. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Marquez. Aye. Shower. Aye. Vaughn. Aye. Five ayes and two absent. The warrant has been approved. Let's move to standing committee reports. Do the uh, chairman have reports? Alderman Marquez. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, last Monday night, the Municipal Services Committee approved the minutes of the April 23rd, 2018 Municipal Services meeting and submitted those. And uh, just to announce that our next meeting is June 25th. 2018 uh, here in the council chambers at 6:30. Thank you, Alderman Shower. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, tonight's admin finance meeting was canceled due to lack of agenda items, and the July 2nd admin finance meeting is also canceled due to the city council meeting being canceled that night as well. And uh, do we have a police uh, committee report? I have the date. 
Uh, the next meeting for the police committee will take place on Monday, June 18th at 6 p.m. in the police department training room. Pending items? Correct. Right, pending items, okay. Then let's move to questions, comments, and, uh, uh, and agenda related this time. Uh, did anybody want to address the uh, council? We've discussed all of the items on the consent agenda this evening during our work session, so uh, we do not have any, any issues to, uh, to speak about. But if anyone in the audience wants to speak to us, okay, let's move right on to old business. And there being no old business, I'll move to the consent agenda. And uh, let me take a, a little <laughs> drink of water before I start this. <laughs> We have items A through R this evening. Uh, the first is a, a motion to approve a payment of annual dues to Dumeg in the amount of $17,680, which and we're going to be using our state drug forfeiture funds for that. Uh, the next is a motion we have, let's see, it goes from A down to F, uh, excuse me, B down to F. These are all items uh, regarding our new police uh, fleet of cars. The next motion is to authorize the expenditure of budgeted funds to purchase 12 2018 Ford all-wheel drive explorers from Ford Curry Commercial Center in the amount of $364.524. Oh, listen to me, 364524 <laughs> The next one, that was a real cheap deal. Boy, oh boy. Uh, the next one is a motion to authorize the expenditure of budgeted funds to purchase 14 in-car video systems from WatchGuard in the amount of $107,767. The next is a uh, motion to uh, authorize the expenditure of funds to purchase 17 mobile data computer systems from Bright Fujitsu Computers in the amount of $54,265, golly, I'm, I'm getting goofy here, $54,265.86. The next one is an, a motion to authorize the expenditure of funds to upfit the 12 police uh, department patrol vehicles uh, from EVT, Emergency Vehicle Tech, in the amount of $128,323. The next item is a motion to off authorize the expenditure of funds for 14 radar systems from Stalker Radar Applied Concepts in the amount of $19,600. Next, we move to a motion to approve a resolution approving a proposal from all information services, AIS, in an amount not to exceed $19,475 for computers, computer racks, and computer-related materials and installation at our public works facility located at 1041 South Frontage Road. The next item is to approve a resolution to accept a proposal from the Flooring Center, LLC, for the labor, material, and removal of the existing carpet and installation of the replacement of vinyl plank within the city council chambers in the amount not to exceed $12,388.50. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution entering into a contract to, uh, to buy uh, rock salt from Detroit Salt in the amount not to exceed $157,680.20. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Darien and the Darien Park District for rock salt. And the next item is, a res is to approve a resolution, intergovernmental uh, resolution with uh, District 66 in the city of Darien for rock salt. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the purchase of one new 2019 Ford 4350 4x4 from Bob Writing's fleet sales in an amount not to, in an amount of $40,186. The next item is uh, to approve a resolution for the equipment that will go on this uh, new truck, uh, dump body and snow plow equipment package, lighting accessories, and hydraulics for the 2019 Ford uh, 350 in amount not to exceed $42,753. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the purchase of three storage sheds from Home Depot for the storage of Christmas trees, Christmas wreaths, and city banners in an, an amount not to exceed $20,000. And the next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the purchase of one new air compressor from Rack'em Up 
equipment distributors uh, not to exceed $10,350. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the purchase of 10 solar speed alert 1818 speed limit signs from Traffic Control and Protection, Inc. in an amount not to exceed $50,215. The next item is a motion to approve a resolution to enter into a contract agreement with Concrete Solutions International for the labor, material, and installation of an epoxy floor finish for the police department in an amount not to exceed $30,000. And the final item is a motion to approve a resolution accepting a storm sewer easement for the uh, properties of 1626 Fox Hill and 1630 Fox Hill Place. Do I have a motion to approve all those items? Alderman Marquez? Second of Alderman Shower? The roll, please. Marquez? Aye. Shower? Aye. Thorn? Aye. Kenny? Aye. Belzac? Aye. Five ayes and two absent. All items have been approved. The next item on the agenda is new business, and there being no new business, I'd like to uh, move to the last and final opportunity for anyone to, to, for questions, comments, and announcements of a general nature to address the City Council. Okay, come on up to our microphone and let us know who you are. Good evening, Madam Mayor, Council. My name is Brian Lidke. I'm at well, seven, hello, seven, Mr. Lidke, our th planned commission that's member. That's right, thank yes. you. 7729 Carlton Road. Uh, I was hoping Sylvia would be here. I sent her an email the other day who forwarded over to Chief Thomas. Uh, and I understand if you want to speak about that offline, we can talk about the details. Um, later if we need to. Uh, I'm concerned, I want to address the council and the increased police activity and drug activity at a neighbor's house right across the street from me. There's been an increase of like domestic issues, drug um, dealings, uh, and I do want to applaud the police department for their quick response time and frequent response times. I know that department has been very busy at that house. Um, but that is a troubled house. There is um, code violations. I'm certain there's city code uh, violations. I've had neighbors tell me they have seven dogs and one cat that are kept there. I know city code requires no more than three animals. They have a sump pump that discharges right into the street. So when winter time comes, the street consistently ices over. And I guarantee that there is gray water or wastewater also discharged into that sump pit because middle of summer, that thing is still running and pumping out. So I also have a, a strong impression and. I'm not a detective, obviously, but this house, this family is illegally fostering children. They are, um, the neighbors themselves are actually quite nice. They're friendly, they're both deaf, but there are constantly kids coming in and out of that house. And I don't know if they're licensed by the state to foster families, but it's clear that that family's being taken advantage of because these kids are out on the patio, smoking marijuana, out playing music, and we hear screams all the time. So I just wanted to put this out there and, um, uh, Sylvia's not here, but I sent her a note, and I know it's forwarded to the chief, so I want to make sure. Well, we, it, sounds, it sounds like we have a lot to check out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that was it, it sounds like it, it's not only just a police department, but we also we might have some code violations here that we have to I check out. I would guarantee if you checked so, it out, yeah. Okay. I, I, when did uh, Sylvia copy us? Uh, was, was it just today? Kind of over the weekend, the email yeah, started. Yeah, I sent her a note on and, the weekend. Uh, the chief responded and sent it out this morning. Okay. All right. I have to check my emails. I did not have an opportunity to check them over oh, the weekend. Yeah. So thanks, yeah, Brian, for bringing this to our attention. Thank you. Um, Public works type items. Was it yeah. Me? Brian. Brian? Yeah. Did you write down your phone number? Some specifics. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so no other, no other further other items to discuss this evening, gentlemen? I know. It's no reason. Uh, okay. Then I'd like to have uh, ask for a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Al Alderman Va yeah. Vaughn. Alderman Vaughn. I'm trying to teach him. I got to work, work with him a little bit. Seconded by Alderman Shower. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Alderman Vaughn, don't get don't get used to don't get used to that.